Alright, so lots of thoughts after that defeat against Arsenal last night. But I'll just narrow it down to the important ones. Firstly, there's no denying to the fact that Arsenal played really well. Their counter-pressing was on point, man-to-man -man marking and ball distribution was ever so good. Secondly, in comparison, we were bad, counter-pressing was poor, struggles in the final third was visible. It was way too bad than what we did against United at Anfield, which was a goalless draw. And one shot on target just reflects that. And talking about our midfield, I think it lacked strength. Only McAllister was doing a good job. Curtis Jones was okay, Gamberg was struggling there and maybe it was down to the team selection. I mean the whole of this right side was kind of dysfunctional. From the back line, Brent was picked due to absence of Colin Bradley for the personal reasons because he lost his start so sad news on that front. Else I think Bradley would have had the first right at the right back position so Trent started coming off from an injury because in the last game he came off from the bench and didn't slot the whole 90 minutes. And Joe Gomez was picked in terms of his form because he has been doing good in that left back role ever since Robertson and Simikas got injured. It took him some time but he got adapted to that. And talking about the midfield combination, I think Subosulai would have been preferred had he didn't pick up an injury. So that's why Grimberg was preferred and he was pretty poor in the middle. Talking about the attack, just one shot on target, we were definitely lacking creativity up front and didn't have a lot of touches inside the position box so attack wise we were pretty poor and now let's talk about the goals in the match first one that we considered it was down to bad and silly mistake Gakpo went out of position and for that McAllister had to push up to cover Kai Havertz run and on the other side Van Dijk had to move up to Mark Odegaard who was moving forward as well and that's where the ball was lost when McAllister was trying to push in for Havertz. He found the ball and made a forward pass. After that, Arsenal attack went through our defense and even though Martin took a shot and it was saved by Alisson, Saka just had to finish it off, which he did. And we conceded the first goal, which was down to silly mistake of not positioning self better against the opponent players and losing the ball. Talking about the second goal of the match, which was a leveler from Luis Diaz who was pushing on, charging on to Saliba who was trying to protect the ball. There was a miscommunication between the keeper and him. Keeper didn't charge forward and as a result they conceded right before the halftime whistle. It was kind of funny goal but something similar happened in the second half which was Arsenal's second goal. Miscommunication between Alisson who shouldn't have moved forward because Van Dijk was shielding and there was no way he was going down from Martinelli's push. But Alisson pushed forward and the ball was lost and went straight to the feet of Martinelli who scored the goal. That was 2-1. And talking about the third one and call it a brilliance of the player. I personally do like Dosart. Been following him since Brighton days. But there was a little touch, little reflection from Van Dijk's feet and ball went through Alisson's legs and uh, it was game over pretty much 3-1. You are not doing comeback from that with 4 minutes left on the clock. As for us, we have a little relief that Andrew is back and Salah might be on his way in a couple of weeks. And even though we are still on top of the table, City can take the spot if they win the two of their games in hand. And we need to be careful that we don't further drop the points by playing the way we did. 